Hello, I'm Wendy Weiger, and this is Word from the Woods. I'm speaking to you from my off-the-grid land on the shore of First Roach Pond, deep in the Maine woods, and it is mud season. I'm looking across the pond towards the sunset, and as you can probably see, there is some open water near my shore, but the pond still is largely frozen. Today is April 11th. Eleven days ago, on March 31st, I pulled two loads of food and supplies across the still stable ice of First Roach Pond, walking on snowshoes, pulling my gear sled behind me. Since then, the ice has destabilized. It's no longer safe for walking. So the pond is still too solidly frozen for boating, but not solidly frozen enough for walking and there's no access then to my land over the pond. Now, in terms of the gravel roads, they're unplowed, and in places, I'm guessing they're still snow covered about knee deep, because that's what I'm seeing on my land right now. In other places, they may be down to bare gravel, but in those areas, they're gonna be extremely wet and mucky. Very bad idea to try to drive on the roads at this time of year, you're going to get stuck pretty quick. And they're not very good for snowshoeing or hiking on either. So what that all means is that this is the most isolated time of the year for me. There really is no good way into or out of my land, either over the pond or over the roads. So, as I mentioned, I brought plenty of supplies in on March 31st. This is April 11th. I'm expecting by end of April, beginning of May, the ice will be out on the pond and the roads will have dried up as well and be okay for driving. And at that point, I will walk the four and a half miles over the roads to my car and I'll be able to drive back in. Until then, I'm on my own. I actually kind of like the feeling of isolation. As I said, I have plenty of food and supplies, all that I need. It's very peaceful and very quiet, and I can stay here in solitude and simply watch the unfolding of the spring. I hope that you are enjoying spring wherever you are.